Now, uh, let me place this back to about where I'd want. On this image, I think I'd like a lightning S-curve. I think it needs to be a little bit brighter as well as have more contrast. There's before and after. But let's look at a different image. This is a less contrasty image to start with. You can see it looks kind of flat. There's a lot of color, or at least potentially there, but it looks kind of flat. And that's fine. It's always easy to increase contrast in an image, difficult or impossible to decrease it. Um, and while I'm on that subject, while I'm thinking about it, let me show you what happens if you make a reverse S-curve. I'll do it on this photograph. Oh, uh, basically just looks bad. Um, you can do it, and it does look less contrasty, but it just looks really flat. So not something I would normally do. I'll go back to something more reasonable here. Okay, back to this one. Now, here I'm going to go into Curves again, make a Curves Adjustment Layer. And if you look at this histogram, you can see that it doesn't fill up most of the space available to it. So I actually have a lot of room here to move both the black point and the white point before I get black shadows or washed out highlights. So if I have room to move the black and white points and I want to increase contrast, I'll start with that. So I'm going to push this black point over to the right. I don't want to go too far here. There's really nothing in this image that should be pure black. And if you look at this, there's nothing that you would see as black if you were looking at this scene in real life. So I don't want anything to be pure black. I'm going to hold down that Option key again. And if I go all the way over here, we start to get some areas in that lower right-hand corner, the uh, shadows of this bush here that become pure black. But um, as I say, I don't think I want that here. So I'm going to back out of that a bit. And I certainly don't want anything to be pure white. There's nothing in the image that looks like it should be white. Um, if I slide that over, the brightest thing is uh, some of those yellow flowers right in here. I don't want to lose detail in that area, so I'm going to keep the white point somewhat to the right of that place where those white, those excuse me, those yellow flowers start to get washed out. So just moving those black and white points has increased the contrast quite a bit. Here's before, here's after. I think this photograph could use a bit more, so I'm going to add those two points again at about three quarters and about one quarter and make even more contrast. So if I have room to move the black point or white point or both, I'll often start with that. And then if I need more contrast, make a bit of an S-curve with those one quarter and three quarter points. So that's about it. Next time I'll talk about using curves in Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw. But the basic principles that I've shown you, and of course the, the power of the S-curve, apply to any program that has curves. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.